September the 18th, 2011. We're going to go through here and look at all the tombs. Looks like there's about a hundred of them. And it's just a little cool and windy today. And we are just at the far north end of Aberdeen. RCMP building, I believe it's just over there, just to the south, right of us. So I'm going to start at the southwest corner here. And we're going to go through these and uh, try to film every tomb as best as we can. Some of these are totally covered over. These are all relatives in a row. We're just about 20 minutes uh, northeast of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Aberdeen is the first major town that you hit heading north on Highway 41. There's unmarked wooden. And this one doesn't have a name. It's on the back, Frank Epp. bunch more, four in a row of these wooden plaques. Two more wooden planks. Oh, big dust. I wonder if perhaps the wooden plaques are for children. There's two gate entrances here to drive vehicles in. We're heading to the far northwest corner here. Another wooden clock. Clock. Got some trees here overtaking.
wonder if those go together. Just a reminder if you're watching this video, if you feel it's going too fast, every time you get to a name, just pause the video. And then you can read the names if you want to write them down, etc. <coughs> Peter J. Wall, 19, or maybe 1871 to 1940, possibly. Jacob Martins, 1871-1928, I believe. It's just one lone tomb here in the second row. Yeah. And her name is Alvina. Yeah. Which is a town about 15 miles north of here. Alright, we're starting at the south and we're going to start looking at the third row. Three in a row. And we have the gate opening again. Right away up here. Leave it there. Good. Thanks. And McKay. Oh, in memory of Isabella Mackenzie, maybe. Aged 45 or 46 years. has fallen over or been pushed over. This is the first wooden plate to actually have something written on it. This one doesn't. 19... Uh, 1924, 
Clarence Gordon, 1896, I believe. Gordon Clark. Another wooden plaque. There's a piece of wood in the ground. Not sure if somebody's there. We're heading to the north end here again at the edge of the third row all right so now we're going to start our fourth row Burial. Another wooden clock, and it looks like one is missing. Henry B. Dick, October 28, 1895, March 22nd, 1965, resting in Jesus. If you're interested in seeing other graveyard sites from this area in central Saskatchewan, just go to my website. Saskatoon Snaps, S N A P S dot com slash graveyard dot H T M. That's www dot Saskatoon Snaps dot com slash graveyard dot H T M. Or you can go to YouTube and simply do a search for Saskatchewan graveyard or cemetery and you will find over 30 cemeteries that I have filmed including many of the churches that go along with them in loving memory Robert William Neufeld October 21st 1889 to July 11th 1957 God giveth God taketh away